Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT transmission line fault detection and alerting system. So in this version uh, we are using a web page monitoring uh, from n number of devices we can continuously monitor the faults and uh, the status. So here the all green nothing but everything is normal and if is any fault detected the respective face will turn to the red, side, red light and the status will be displayed here the message. And also locally we can monitor the status on the LCD screen. Here the main faults in that while uh, doing the transmission lines uh, mainly the high voltage low voltage fault with the help of these potentiometers we are going to identify that in respective phases and L to L fault along with the distance um, means uh, if is any L to L fault occurred in between the pole 1 and pole 2 then the so called alert will be displayed on the LCD screen as well as same alert will be sent to the mobile phone on this browser we can see that through IOT technology same thing for L to L along with the location and same L to G nothing but uh, line to ground along with the distance and open circuit is not of any distance directly open circuit falls and low voltage high voltage so every time whenever the fault detected the system will control the respective phase power supply with the help of these three electromagnetic relays and will provide the audible alert through the buzzer and the display status on the LCD and same data will be sent to the mobile phone through this ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. So these are the main features of this project. To execute these features mainly we are providing 230 volts AC input to the system that is parallelly given as input to these loads through this electromagnetic relays. So we are using three relays uh, which is used to control the three phases and uh, this one is a regular power supply board uh, which will take 230 volts AC input and provide as a 5 volts DC output to this breadboard. So the 5 volt DC is the main operating voltage of our system. So once we provide the 5 volts DC over here, the all uh, 5 volts will be distributed from there to the remaining input output modules of our project. Here the main processing unit is ordinary Uno board and the output module is 16 by 2 LCD screen as well as to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module and audible alert through this buzzer board and the input modules are voltage sensors of this potentiometers as well as this pulse input means transmission line input. So these are the major input output components of our project. Let us check with the demonstration. So before demonstration we need to do some initial steps in your mobile phone. So install this network analyzer application to get the IP address of our system and then after go to uh, hotspot settings of your phone and configure the hotspot name to PROJECT7525 without any space, without any capital letter and password should be 12345678 and AP band should be 2.4 GHz. After enabling this setting successfully done, now we can on the power supply to the kit. So once we on that, a welcome message will be displayed on the mobile, uh, sorry, on this LCD screen. So after that the voltage, R voltage, nothing but red phase, yellow phase and blue phase. So these voltages continuously monitor and everything is normal, these three lights on status only. And in your mobile phone you can see the one device is connected. Now to get the IP address of the device, go to the options of this application, LAN scan, do the scan. There we get the two IP addresses of the Wi-Fi only on the hotspot and now here just click on that and open. Directly it will open to this one. Everything is normal green light appeared on the web page and the status is OK. OK. So let us make high voltage fault. So whenever the voltage is above 245 there we can see the R phase fault and high voltage and normal. Right. Auto reset won't be there as it is a 230 volts operating volt uh, system. So thing is uh, if auto reset then if he is there any person repairing the on transmission lines if auto resets then he may get a shock of this electrical signals. So in order to prevent that for security purpose auto reset will be not there and manually we need to check the voltage on the LCD and we need to do the manual reset from this reset button. Okay and the next is low voltage. When the voltage is low then it will provide us the same message alerts to your mobile phone. So when it is normal again by seeing that you can do the research. Now let us go with Y phase.
So again we can check this by phase high voltage okay and when it is normal then we need to do the manual reset again for every circuit breaker occurred then we need to do the uh, like manual reset and this is for low voltage same I can show you the both at a time so wait till the voltage displayed on the LCD right low voltage B and coming to the line to line fault ok so I am placing the short circuit line to line fault between the pole 2 and pole 3 so you can see over here so when this generally short circuit happened then the two, two relays got off as a Y phase and B phase and the same will be displayed on the status monitoring over here so YB fault at P2 and P3 same here YB fault between P2 and P3 again manual research same here check with so R phase and Y phase between the pole 1 and pole 2 same status on your mobile phone also so this data can be accessed from n number of devices directly so now to check with y and b again manual reset so again all these turn green when everything is normal right so y b at pole 1 and pole 2 same thing y b pole 1 and pole 2 now let us check with l2 l of r and y fault between the P2 and P3 for R phase and Y phase here right ok P2 and P3 P2 and P3 for R and Y phase so it is continuously providing the alert till the short circuit got occurred now again check with line to ground so this below is the ground wire right so B phase to ground between P2 P3 B phase to ground between P2 P3 same for or Y phase to ground same between P2 P3 so it is cleared now message got cleared but auto re auto reset won't be there and we will make this fault for R phase right R phase P to P3 R and G Right now, Y two G between P one and P two. Same here also. Right next, B two G here, P one and P two. Same here. So this is uh, like a line to line and line to ground. Now let us check with our open circuit fault. Now let us check with open circuit fault here. Open circuit. So we are making the R phase open circuit fault. Same here and on LCD open circuit in R phase. Now we will make it back to the normal again and meanwhile go to the reset and now let us make the fault in Y phase. Right. Open circuit in Y phase. I can make it short. Now let us make the open circuit in 
बीफेस राइट बीफेस ओपन सर्किट फॉल्ट राइट अगेन वेन इट इज नॉर्मल राइट एंड एवरीथिंग विल बी नॉर्मल अगेन ऑन द आई ओ टी वेब पेज एज वेल एज इन एवर लोकल स्टेशन मॉन्ट्रिक सेक्शन राइट थैंक यू